<laughs> way back, way back, way back, way back, way back. All right, all right. All right, calm down, people. All right. The little dude just rolled out of nowhere. All right, so I was last at the, the like, trials or something. I don't know. It was difficult. I got off. I was asleep. Tired. I had some other shit to do. But we're going to try to get back to that part. And uh, hopefully I can make it through without looking too confused. Because this part of the game is kind of confusing. So let's, let's get it. I think they're going to see me anyway. Sight. At least I know what to expect this time. Holy shit. Oh fuck, I fucked that up. Shit. Oh, got me. Holy shit. Damn. Fuck. Wasted on this bitch. Oh yeah, is this the part where I got confused at? All right, here These we are. Familiar. Wrong one. All right. Holy shit, I ain't get close enough. Did I already open that chest over there? If it's saved or not. Doesn't look like it. We're going here first. Oh, investigate. No, 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 no. Oh, I had to unlock that first. Yeah, that's why it's telling me to investigate. Oh, man, I mean, I, if I were paying attention, I would have saw that. I mean, I saw it, but I was just like, I said, going here anyway because it's a chest yeah. Oh, it's a chest right here. That's what happened. That's how I didn't really fucking do it right last time. Akio. Perhaps 
perhaps I should examine things from both sides of the archway. It's gonna drag me back. That's why I got lost last time. Cause I went back over there. More statues. That was all I had to do last night. I've seen somebody else do it. I think. Yeah. Because I was like, this shit is annoying. I'm not doing it right now. I'm just looking for something. Revelio. Holy shit, that shit. I presume I'm looking shit, for traces of ancient I magic. Heard. I think it's up here. But, but where? I do. Okay. It's up here, right? Because it looks different when I look out there. I'm supposed to do something like this or something. Akio! Come on, folks. Like that. Okay, I don't remember what else I was supposed to do. Oh yeah, um, okay, I kind of do now, but. Let's get that thing over here somehow. That's the part that I didn't see. Shit, let's go over here real quick first, anyway. Revelio. All right, so when I go down here, it's nothing. Oh, can I go here? What is it, like water? It's crazy. All right, so. But yeah, I think I gotta go over here too. Seems I ought to explore this archway from both sides. Oh shit. Akio. What did that burst of magic change on both sides of the archway? Something must be different. Akio! Too far away or something? See if I can get it there. Alright, it's not too far away.
I need to see how the room changes when I move in and out of the archway. So that's it. I need to use both sides of the archway to get the platform to the other side of the bridge. Uh, right, right. I get it, but I don't know how to do it. Accio. I think I seen some. What the fuck did I see this dude? I think I seen him try to bring it up the stairs or something, but I don't know if that'll work. Well, will it? Holy shit. All right, let me go over here real quick and see what happens when I come over here. So that's it. I need to use both sides of the archway to get the platform to the other side of the bridge. What? I'll pull it to from here. Doesn't look like anywhere. Somebody said that this it was difficult and it, it kind of is. So I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Like I said, I think I seen the dude fucking bring it up the stairs. It's crazy. Okay, so can I go like this? Now, can I go in here and pull it through there or something? Let's see. Won't come through here. I don't think it will. No, so that's not it. But let's leave it there and check it a little bit. Oh, it went back. What the frick? Now it's over here. Oh yeah, that's the one over there. All right, so. I think I gotta bring it like up. I'm gonna try to bring it up the stairs, but I think that's definitely not the right way to do it. Yeah. Super confusing. This is confusing, more confusing than the other part. So, what do these do? Let's see if I hit these things. Okay, that was nothing. <laughs> they make the music like that was nothing. Let me move 
it like right there and see. Like, that even makes a difference. All right, go back up here and see what it does on the other side. Nothing. Okay, it's moved over, but that's nothing. Right. Oh, I can't even jump on it. Oh, okay, about to say. That's not gonna pull me nowhere either. I was trying to see if I could pull it through there, but nothing I can pull it through there either. Totally don't know what's what what needs to happen here. So totally lost. All right, hold on. We finna watch this video real quick. See if y'all can see it too. See how the heck this dude gets it through here. Did I already beat those dudes? Yeah, I already beat those dudes. Hold on, let me see. I already beat those dudes. I have no idea how to beat this, I'm gonna be honest. I ain't gonna sit here and try to fucking beat my head against the wall. Let's see if I can even follow the instructions. Rebellion. Heck. I presume I'm looking for traces of ancient magic. Right, 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 right. That's but what I was thinking where? too. Holy shit. This dude, did, did he really bring it upstairs though? Like, cause I think I seen him bring it upstairs, but I could be tripping. He, got, he did that part. Yeah, what did he do next? Yeah, because I, I did this. Skipping through that, that's the shit. Oh, here too. All right, wasn't paying attention. If he did something, then I had to go back and look because I ain't paying attention. But he just fell down. Going and looking and exploring and shit. All right. You don't know what he's doing yet. Let's take a look, closer look. Seems I ought to explore this archway from both sides. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought too. Ooh. What did that burst of magic change on both sides of the archway? Something must be different. Yeah, hey, see, he brought this motherfucker upstairs. Look at him. He trying to bring it upstairs. Is that what you're supposed to do? I don't know if he succeed on trying to bring it upstairs. But when I saw this, I was like, it might be right. I don't know. I ain't gonna say it's wrong. Cause... I need to see how the room changes. Did I have to put it in front of the archway or something? See, look, wait a minute. What the fuck did he just do? How did he get it up there? Holy shit, I gotta rewind it. I ain't even see. What kind of puzzle is this? I think I'm this far, all right? Did that, all right. And then he just fucking jumped down and brought it upstairs? What the fuck? I'm trying to see if I can follow his lead. Cause I have I have no idea how he just did that. Yeah. 
Seems I ought to explore this archway from both sides. And he went back this way. Through the thing again. Up the left steps, turns around. What did that burst of magic change on both sees sides? Sees the thing, of the goes to the thing, and literally Something pulls it in the stairs. Like, how did he fucking know that? He just went straight to it and did it. Hold on, hold on. Did I get it up here far enough? Then he went up here and then just jumped down. Uh huh. I need to see how the room changes. And went over here and took it over here. Oh, so it do work. That's fucking genius. How did he figure that out though? What? Hold on, hold on. Where the fuck did he leave it before he took off on it? How did he figure that out though? That's crazy. I need to see how the room changes. It gives me a headache just trying to think about that right now. So did he leave it in a specific place or just anywhere? Oh, he left it by the wall or something? Let's see if that's an important spot to leave it. You gotta leave it by the wall. Oh, he's trying to pull it back up there, that's why. Okay. I need to use both sides of the archway to get the platform to the other side of the bridge. Right, let's see if that'll work. Holy shit. Pretty cool. But damn, why they gotta make it so confusing though? So that's it. And I ain't even getting nothing over here. The archway to get the platform to the other side of the bridge. Akio. So that's it. I need to use both now? sides of the archway to get the platform to the other side of the bridge. Oh. Uh. Supposed to still go over there and do something. Ran through, turned around, and ran back. Back through the shit. Oh, okay. Just gonna pull it like into the middle of the room or something. I don't get it. Stop. I mean, I'm acting like I get it, but I don't get it. So that's it. I need to use both sides of the archway to get the platform to the other side of the bridge. So that's it. That's I need to use doing. both sides of the archway to get the platform to the other side of the bridge. Ah. Uh, yeah. Hold on, I gotta rewind that because that's fucking crazy. How the fuck did he do that? Hold on, let me see. Was it, did he just go back here and go back upstairs? I don't think so. Yeah, he did. Holy shit. It worked. Oh shit, how would somebody figure that out? That's freaking crazy. I'm glad I had this shit ready because I would have never figured that out. I would have been sitting here for hours. I'm getting a headache right now 
even though I just watched a YouTube video on how to do it. Wow. Shout out to that kid that made the video. Let me see what his channel's name is. Yeah. Sue Noob. G O S U N O O B. Go to me. He got 150,000 followers. That's crazy. Good video, though, because, man, I swear, if that wasn't hella confusing. Took me 30 minutes to do it with a video. And then this shit I would assume is gonna be probably difficult too, maybe. I'll never get used to these floors. All right, let's see what this, what we got going here. Revelio. Damn, he got me. Damn, he got me. I'm dead. Kill me. Fuck him up, coach. Revelio. All right, now what fucking crazy ass puzzle is going to be right now? So, yeah, I don't know. Oh, is it over here? All right, cool. Holy shit. More of this stuff. How am I gonna get over there? One of those fucking bugs.
Okay, so now uh, and then has changed on each side of this archway. Alright, so if I jump through it and die though, like that's yeah, that's probably gonna be How the fuck do I get up there? Is it just as simple as jumping, but I ain't trying to die? Yeah. Fucking puzzles. Let's try this side. It's a completely different on the other side of the archway. But how? I've got something I can reach. Accio. Glad I didn't jump, because that would have killed me. Did I jump down here? Yeah, I think I should. Definitely a chest. Okay. What if I stood on one platform and used Akio on the other? That ought to work. Oh? Akio! Hey, I think I did it. Yeah. Maybe? Or am I go I'm no, I'm going the wrong way. That's yeah. All right, but I, I think I might have to go back that way. Maybe. I don't know. What if I stood on one platform and used Akio on the other? Yeah, can I do it like that? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Right, cool. Holy shit. All right, cool. Ooh. It worked. Yeah, I tried to do that last time in the other room, but I don't think it worked. We're fucking here. Should I upgrade something? Shit, because I feel like when I'm fighting, I gotta be too good. Can I upgrade any of this shit? Do I already have it upgraded? Is that the thing? I think I already did all these. Yeah, this is purchased. All right. What does this one do? It's kind of ass, but I mean, I guess it's whatever, but I want that one. I want that one. Fire. Alright. Go back to the game in case I gotta fight some people. Alright, I'm just making sure I ain't missing nobody chatting or anything because I know you know how many I got crazy a bunch of you know chat be tripping sometimes, you know. Especially when I miss somebody's chat, you know. Like my bad, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm human, it's that simple. If I was perfect, shit, I wouldn't be doing this. Maybe I would. What the fuck? I was about to say, not another puzzle, please, man. Please, I can't take it no more. This game is cool though, but the puzzles, yeah, they could chill with that shit. This ain't fucking Indiana Jones. Don't like the look of this. God damn, what I fucking get hit by? I didn't even see him, bro. That's crazy, man. 
That motherfucker took me out. I was over here working with this dude. That motherfucker jumped. It was like some super, sumo wrestler. That's some sumo wrestling shit right there. Oh, I got five health, so I could play it different than I got five. Don't like this. Oh, they got smaller ones, that's why I didn't see it last time. Holy shit, there it go. Okay, I saw it this time. That's crazy, bro. Fucker. They're trying to get me, too. Get your bitch ass, nigga. Fuck him up. Oh, you too. Got you. Pretty cool. Oh shit, I'm about to get my shit handed to me now. Holy fuck is what is that? Okay, I'm trying to read it. Oh okay, I gotta destroy my other charge of that. Holy shit, oh, okay, I think I got it. I wasn't even looking at the world last time. What? Oh, so it says, okay, I got it. I think I got it. I can't destroy it as it charges up. How the fuck am I supposed to destroy it? It says destroy orb as it is charging up. How the fuck is that possible? I think I could just stay alive with this character as long as possible. How can I fucking destroy that? So, it's crazy. What the frick? Oh, destroy it with like this stuff or something? So if I don't destroy it, it hits me. That's guaranteed. It's like, ah, oh, this is crazy. Holy shit. I ain't even beat him up halfway yet. Look at that shit. I don't even know if it hit me though, but. Oh, like that. Oh, okay. Finally. Fuck. Uh. Fuck him up, though. Holy shit, nah, wait. I gotta do that all over again. Is that what they're trying to tell me? Fuck that. Holy shit, bro.
What the fuck? What kind of Dark Souls shit is this? Holy shit, where'd that come from? Wow, now he's got some new shit hitting me. Oh, there's a timing on hitting the ball, huh? Oh my god, I almost died, or I did, fucking around. Trying to time that goddamn ball. Oh no. Oh no. See, I went to going and trying to time it, and then I got hit by it twice instead of just trying to dodge it and throwing a shot. That's crazy, but at least I kind of know what to expect. But they want me to do that all over again? That's fucking crazy. Alright, let's see what we can do. That was a lot of fucking button pressing for this game. To be like, alright, uh... Let me see, hold on. Am I even equipped enough for this shit? It's crazy. I can't use none of those, right? Yeah, because... I don't think they're gonna let me use it. This might be. Oh, I ain't even got no more shit. I gotta fight him like this. Fuck it. Alright, let's see what I can do, man. I wish I can drop the things, but I don't think I got any anyway. No. Five health. I right, can get these dudes out as fast as possible. I'm not sure how bad. Fucked up by these guys. Fuck. Didn't want to use a potion with these fucking guys, bro. I gotta just stay focused with this guy. Holy shit, why am I not fucking aiming at him? What the fuck is going on? What the fuck, bro? Now I can't hit the thing at all? Oh my god, that was worse than the last time. Alright. Give it another shot, but this is crazy. What kind of... Hold on. Equipping better gear? What the fuck are you talking about better gear? This is all the gear I got. What better gear do I got? Yeah, I ain't got that much better gear. The best shit I got. They talking about get better gear. Man, my gear is trash. That's all. This is, I gotta work hard to get this fucking win. Wow, that's crazy. Maybe I'm doing this shit too soon.
Damn, fool. Oh, and then I seen that shit roll too late. Can I do that now? Nah, it's not gonna work on that one. Damn. Oh my god. I didn't even get past these dudes this time. It's crazy. Why are these dudes so difficult now? Fuck. Oh, no more health? How am I supposed to beat this dude with no more health? What the fuck? So this, this, they're not gonna give me no more health? I can't beat this dude with no health. My fucking best chance was the first time. Oh, this is crazy. Yeah, I can't beat this dude with no health. Holy shit. Oh. They're trying to bail me out? There's no way I can, why don't I have any health though? That's crazy. Wow, yeah, that's it. Wow. Can, okay, so if I retry it right here, I gotta retry it, but I don't know if I, I, I'm, I guess I'm stuck here because there ain't no way I can get more health. And I can't beat this dude. That's crazy. So, yeah, I'm fucked. It's like I gotta figure out a new game to play. Cause I'm not. I don't know what to do with this. Rebellion. What does this do? I probably should have used that when I got in there, huh? It's fucking too late now. Crazy. Don't get hit. Wow, that's crazy. So I have to damage it a little bit first, too. What the fuck? He doesn't even get damaged by that. Oh, God, it's too early. That's crazy, bro. I can't beat this dude and I got zero health. What kind of game put you up against a nigga like this with no health? On that note, looks like we're going to... I don't know what we gotta do, really. Gonna have to go back to the main menu or something. 
because I can't just keep trying that shit. Yeah, that's fucking crazy. Yeah. Stuck in the so, fucking thing with no yeah, help. He's saying, Mama, I want to come home. Mm -hmm. how, how do you relinquish? Or, 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 or how do they get him to, how do he get back in New York? I'll be right back. Give me one here. second. He's saying, Mama, I want to come Take home. a break. Mama that shit like, Mama, got at this point, Mama fucking, like, nah, nigga, you stand it's behind too that. crazy right now. Me and her be seeing eye to eye. Too crazy, too crazy. Can't believe that shit. Yeah. At this point, you know what I mean. So he yeah, going that shit it. was crazy. But he get that back to New York. Out of the back. Um, I can see he crazy. Now let me ask you this: What's his grades like in school? I couldn't motherfucking beat that dude for shit. So I was like trying to run it back, run it back, and then I'll come to find out, I'm like, I gotta go to the bathroom. Fuck this game. YouTube for a second. When he with me, his grades was uh. Straight A student, A and B on the road. Damn. He was the uh, so, 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 dude or whatever. So 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 he's not suffering mm -hmm. with any kind of learning disabilities. He had uh 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 they 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 gave him ADHD. They say every kid had ADHD. That's that's more behavior that, modification. That's that's the only thing that they uh they ever said that was wrong with him. ADHD. Behavior modification. Um, yeah, that's, that's, yeah that's just need a daddy like yeah, that what was he it. had. Uh what 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 do the teachers think about him? Now that's the crazy thing. Everybody love him. Lovable dude. Lovable. So very he, charismatic. He do, do something in school. You come to check him in school, and the teachers is telling you, no, listen, it ain't that serious. Why you calling me then? Mm -hmm. If it ain't that serious, then why you calling me? No, but listen, he has potential, and he's this. And that was me, homie. I'm sitting here like, but that why you me. call me? If you're going to tell me not to get on him, then why call me for him? Yeah. So everybody loved him, though. He was a lovable dude. He was a real so, lovable dude. What you think he was chasing? Through his lyrics, through his music, through, through his, his music. rap. Yeah, because because well, before when, before you get into that, when did you when did you realize he was rapping though? He oh, I used to rap, so okay. he used to go to the studio with me all the time. He came in the house one day, me and my wife <laughs> sitting out there in the house. He's like, "Yo, Dad, I wrote a song. You want to hear it?" I'm like, "Yeah, you know, my son rapping. I'm rapping. I'm like, shit, we could do something now. Yeah." He get up there. I don't know if I. Is it too vulgar for the for the for nah, podcast? Nah, you can say nah, what you want here, bro. Nah, so they got to pay to hear the cuss he words. He goes, he goes, he goes. Yo, suck my dick, suck my dick, suck my. Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> I said, my man, if you say one more of those, my wife sitting here, my daughter, now nah, I'll break your neck. Now, nah, pop, now nah, trust me, my man, get the f out of here. Kicked him out the room. That was the last time I ever wanted to hear rap from him. But he was doing the drill music then. I didn't know that though. Hmm. I didn't know that. Did you know what drill music was? Hell no. I'm on with hip hop. Nah, it's Tupac, Biggie, and all them people. I don't know nothing about no. <laughs> nah. So oh, when man. I'm hearing it, I'm sitting here like, what is it? I don't know what that is. He goes to um to New York. He does a song called Sanction and sends it to me. Now he got my attention. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, oh, about about maybe about three four years ago. He's trying to get it, but when he when he did it this time, he sent it to me, and I'm like, hold on. I'm like, are you working with something? But why are you why are you snitching on yourself? That's snitch music. I'm like, why are you why are you telling? Oh, this happened and that. And I'm like, man, you. Then you up there with the weapons. I'm like, man, you going to jail, man? Yeah, that's snitch music. How old is he at this point? What are you about? Sixteen. Sixteen. And so he he basically telling on himself in his lyrics and he talking all of that. He talk, talking that talk. All type of crazy stuff. Yeah, he talking that talk. What 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 you hearing in the lyrics where you saying hold up you tripping? 
You hearing names, you hearing, hearing actions. names calling. I'm seeing the weapons being produced in the, in the junk. Ain't no prop gun. You know what I mean? I can see the weapons being produced. Um, I'm hearing the lyrics. Um, one to the head, one to the chin. Hit him in the leg, got a permanent limp. And I'm like, nigga, I'm praying you ain't do none of this stuff you talking about here. You know what I'm saying? Because if you did, nigga, you going to jail. So now I'm listening to it like you sound good. You know what I mean? You rapping. Mm -hmm. but, but what you rapping about? You That's hear, what you, got me. You, 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 you hearing the talent. But I also hear jail sentence. You see the bullshit. Yeah, you, yeah. You, yeah, you see the future coming. Yeah, yeah, I see the bullshit. I can see that. Uh, so this after he go back to mom. Uh, do you ever try to intervene? Yeah, because he started get rebellion towards her. It okay. started to try to run over her, running over her. She's she's trying, but he's running over her now. Okay. Now she's like she's trying to put her foot down, but he's six one. You know what I'm saying? He's six one. She ain't number like five five. So now he he he, he can put his chest up a little his, bit his at height, her. Yeah, so yeah, he can put his chest up at her and she'll That's what happened when the when the when the, when the boy get big in the household, mama try to mm -hmm. knock him upside the head. When he go to town and let her, <laughs> it becomes an intimidation factor. Yeah, he yeah, that, that's much. what it is. Now he's starting to intimidate her yeah, now. Yeah, he's starting to yeah, intimidate her. Yeah. He got a little bass in his voice. He talk, yeah. and this shit, I'm going to call your father. You going to call my father for what this, that? He'll talk that shit. This shit call me. I get up there, he'll hide. Get low. he get low. Yeah. So now I got to a point where are you going to go up there to keep chastising him? Or are you going to try to figure out a way to stop him from running from you? Because now you're just pushing him away now. So you know what? I'm going to embrace him. You know what I mean? I went, I went like a whole, a whole maybe close to a year without talking to him. Once I found out he was gang banging with the Crip thing and all that, uh -oh. he hit me on Thanksgiving one day. Is this message? I'm like, what you hit me for? You know what I mean? Oh, I just want to say thanks, happy day. All right. So no, it's a normal day. We eat turkey. All right. Happy Thanksgiving to you too. But it was tough love. It wasn't. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, I that, that hurt to do that. Yeah, I already it, it know. It. I'm it. sitting here watching. I know that yeah, hurt to do that. You. But it's the only way to try to teach him something. But you know what it did? It drew him back. Because now he's saying, Dad, don't give a f But deep down inside, I do. But now I'm getting my point across. So now, now we getting up now. I'm coming up there. We meeting up now. Now we go get something to eat. We talking. Now I got my son back. You know what I'm saying? Now he's calling me for encouragement. Yo, Dad, what about this right here? You know what I mean? If I, if I bust this move, what you think will happen here? Or this right here? Now I'm getting that back. Now I'm being able to try to coach him. You know what I mean? Listen. Your friends ain't your friends. I don't give a fuck how they feel. Your friends ain't your friends. Watch the company you keep, man. Stop putting your neck on the line for everybody because everybody ain't going to do it for you. I know he watching and seeing it now. You know what I'm saying? But he's the type. He's raised like that. I got to protect everything. I got to hold my friends down. I got to hold everybody around me down. You know what I mean? So Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he would have been doing the murder sentence right now if somebody would if it would have been vice versa with one of his friends. There's nothing I could have told him. He would have been sitting in jail for a murder sentence. For, for for retaliating on some dumb shit. Mm. Yeah, I wouldn't have been able to stop him. It's just his mental was like that. He just believed that he's supposed to protect everything. So he went back to New York to stay yeah. with his mom. How mm -hmm. how long after he was staying with you did he go go stay back five with his mom? Years. I had him for five years. Okay, so he's what, 16, 17 years old now? He's back in New York at 16 years, 16 now, about 16. And he back in the same neighborhoods and everything like that? Not the same. This is the weird. He's not in the same neighborhood where he grew up at. He's on the opposite side. Now he's beefing with the neighborhood that he grew up with. That's Your crazy. Old my own neighborhood. So in in in, in retrospect, it throw me in the middle of some bullshit. Cause now I got my neighborhood disrespecting my son. I got my son disrespecting the neighborhood. I'm trying to figure out how to stop both of them. The neighborhood, the neighborhood feeling. They somewhat feeling weak in the streets because they giving him a pass. Giving him on, a pass on, on, on the strength of you. Son. Yeah, he is like he mm -hmm. taking advantage of the path and he mashing the gas even he is, harder. Yes, he yes, he yes, yeah, yes. Mm -hmm. Really rebelling against my against daddy. Me. It's so really, I'm taking it out on his on, hood, on but it's really against my daddy. Really that, 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 that in the psychology world, that's what they call displaced anger. That's what the average. Mm -hmm. I get it, Tom. Oh, uh, that's what the average nigga in America walking around with, homie, displaced angle toward their daddy. The average nigga they shooting at, all oh, no, nah, homie. There you go. Let's see if I can beat this motherfucker one more time.
Cause I don't know what to do. I gotta look at more YouTube videos. That shit easier, definitely. Oh, yeah. Oh. That's what I've been not doing, too. That's a purple one. What the fuck? What the fuck? I didn't even blow up an orb that time. What a relief. That one made it through the whole fight. It was just one left. I didn't think I was ever going to pass that shit. Another pensive. Walk through that. I was about to say, what is this, Dark Souls or something? This fucking game is difficult as shit. Your ability to transfigure the world around you is remarkable. What is it? My father isn't getting better. I don't think he'll ever recover from the death of my brother. Uh oh. It is agonizing to see those we love suffer. The drought was years ago. But the pain of losing him is as deep for him now as if it had happened only yesterday. He doesn't need pretty pillars, he needs peace. Him, Professor. You do so much for your father already. It's not enough. I want to take she away his pain. Magic. 
It is tempting, I know, to use this magic that you're mastering to transfigure more than the physical world. But human emotion is a potent force unto itself. Even the most well-meaning and competent witch cannot possibly know the consequences of irrevocably manipulating it. So I'm to watch as my father's pain destroys him. It is not your pain to take. Yeah, she ain't listen. God, fuck that shit. <laughs> Transfiguration in your dad. Every year a student sees something sillier than I could ever imagine in their tea leaves. Oh, Miss Morgana, welcome back to Hogwarts. Professor. That's going to take some getting used to. Mm. Professor Rickwood. I was so pleased to hear that you'd accepted the position of defense against the dark arts, Professor. Sit, sit, Isadora. Tell us about your travels. I was actually hoping that you and the others might join me at my home this evening. There's much I'd like to share with you. That would be delightful. We shall let the others know. Very well. I shall see you then. Hi. Hmm. Another memory. Now to find a way out of here. Rebellion. Oh god, man. It's more puzzles. Can I not get this? Oh yeah, it said already before. More crystallized stone. That must be the way back to the map chamber. I guess so. Like I said, they could hide the loading screens better in this game. Oh, wait a minute. I gotta fight people to get back? I don't know. Maybe a few. Oh, I'm already back. Was quick. What have we here? I'm a student at Hogwarts, sir, and this is Professor Fig. Professor Charles Rookwood at Fig, your service. My name. Has someone completed the first trial? I have, Professor Rookwood. I was only the first trial. Holy shit! Yeah, I you know. You look right? familiar, sir. I imagine you saw me in the first pensive you accessed in Gringotts. So, you found the port key to access Professor Rackham's vault, and you deciphered the map within the locket you found floating above that pensive. I did. I found something that I can't identify floating above the last pensive. Ah, yes. You will find a similar artifact in each trial. You must take care to keep them safe. You will need them to complete the journey we have set forth for you. Once you have them all, we will tell you what to do with them. Very well. Are you able to tell me anything about the next trial? Before you of proceed, I would like to speak with Charles regarding the urgent situation involving the goblins. The goblins? The student has the seen goblins. traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. They and their mentor, Professor Fig, not only encountered goblins lurking outside of San Bacar's tower, they also encountered a powerful goblin in my vault at Gringotts. Hmm. I'm afraid it would be wise to halt the trials until we know more. We shall defer to you in this matter, of course. Now then... Wait, Professor. The name Rookwood. Do you think that there's a connection to Victor? Perhaps. But we can't be sure of its significance, if any. For now... Tell me what you saw in the pensive. Before the witch from the last pensive, Isadora, became a Hogwarts professor, she argued with Professor Rackham about using magic to remove pain. Hmm. Hopefully the next pensive provides more context. For now, we should learn what Ramrock knows. I will be honest, I've no idea where to start. Actually, I might right. know of someone. I saw Serona at the Three Broomsticks speaking to a goblin once. They seemed friendly. Well, it's worth a try. See what you can find out. Of course, don't forget... My studies. Yes, sir. Uh, before you go... Professor? 
Have you encountered swirling traces of magic in the world? Uh, aside from those along our path? Not that I recall. What are they? Evidence of the Keeper's efforts to manipulate the power of ancient magic during our time. If I am correct, and I usually am, you should be able to use them to inform and enhance your own magic. Thank you, sir. I will look out for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, what he said, yeah, I got, I got it. Achievement. Oh, yeah. And that trial shit is too difficult. Is that Victor Watanyaba? I think that's how you say it, man. All right, more shit. Oh, and there it goes. That's it? All that shit for nothing? All these new magic tricks. some new shit what the fuck that's weird i think it's a glitch they said something about a glitch i got new shit all right what level am i 14 all right yeah this shit's glitch because it's supposed to be saying something it could be popping up showing me that i got something in there but it ain't nothing popping up and that's weird too I should ask. Oh, that's a why. Pressing and highly confidential matter at your earliest convenience. I believe that we may be able to help each other. Please see me after class once you have completed the tasks I've set for you. I would like to teach you Descendo, useful for pulling objects to the ground. Not this fucking long ass. Oh, okay, it's not it. I was gonna say. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented blue power. Wait, hold it. I'm about to say. Location? <laughs> Definitely haven't been in here before. Asian guy, right? Hey, what up? Hello again, Mr. Moon. I was hoping to see you again, my young friend. Uh, Gladwin Moon, Hogwarts caretaker, at your service. 
First, uh, please allow me to apologise if I seemed a bit uh, unsteady when we last met. I'm afraid I had a rather disconcerting encounter. Although I hear your visit to Hogsmeade was even more eventful than mine. I suppose you could call it eventful. I certainly wasn't expecting a troll attack. Oh, of course not! Uh, um, from what I understand, the village was lucky you were there. In fact, my recent visit to Hogsmeade is the reason I was hoping to bump into you. I could use your help with something. Do you see that curious statue over there? Watch what happens when that light changes from day to night. The hell is that? Now, if you wouldn't mind humouring me for a moment, see if you can remove the moon from the statue. Go on, take the moon. Contraptions, aren't they? It seems the statue vanishes once the moon is removed, which, incidentally, can only be done at night. Uh, why don't you hold on to that one for now, and I'll explain more as we walk. Uh, ever since that fateful day in the village, those curious sta- I, I turned a corner and came face to face with a bomb <laughs> or shapeshift. Uh, which takes the form of whatever scares you most. Nice this one took the form of a demiguise. A demiguise? <gasps> yes! Terrifying creature that can see the future. Wholly unnerving. I encountered one when I was a lad in Korea. Terrible experience. Uh, those statues are demiguises. The moons, I assume, are an uninspired play on my name. Some jackanapes use the bomb to thing learn that my really greatest just fear has... and use it against me. I have my suspicion as to the scoundrel oh, or scoundrels man. responsible. It is my hope that they will slip up and reveal themselves as the statues disappear. That is why I need your help in removing the statues. Why me? A couple of reasons, frankly. Uh, first, your daring do against those trolls in Oxmead has gained you a reputation for fearlessness. <laughs> Second, as macabre and hideous as a demiguise is, most would find my fear of them unwarranted. You, however, have seen how they affect me. I'm at my wit's end, young friend. I, I simply can't bring myself to go near them. <laughs> In fact, I know of two statues right here in the faculty tower. Uh, perhaps you could start simply by removing them so uh, I can go about my evening duties. Let's get it. I'd be glad to help you, Mr. Moon. Oh, I knew I could count on you. Uh, first, you know how to cast a disillusionment charm, correct? Mm. You'll want to do that before wandering the tower at night. Uh, next, you'll notice that the door is locked. However will you get in? Hmm. Alahamora, that's how. But what about curfew? Curfew? Oh, tosh. I sense you're a bit like me when I was your Ooh. age. Oh, the school was my oyster. <laughs> and I took advantage of it. Oh, everyone loved me for it. <laughs> oh, those were the days. Uh, now, you'll find one statue Shadow in the prefect's bathroom too. and the other in the hospital wing. Good luck. Oh. Oh, where am I at? Alright. Damn, I'm pressing the wrong button. Damn, they're not even chasing me for that one. Alright, are you ready? Hello, Hamora. Oh shit. Oh shit. I forgot what they said. Oh no. Like that. 
Hold on. There, I felt it over here. No? What? That's weird. Somebody explained this to me one time, and I was like, oh yeah, this makes sense. No, it, it doesn't. It doesn't make sense at all. Is that supposed to work? I think so, but it's not working. So. Well done! You're in! Remember, Thanks. use a disillusionment charm so no one claps eyes on you. This is a restricted area of the castle, after all. Revelio. That guy gonna hear it? Oh. Oh, he's not even moving. Oh yeah, I forgot I was supposed to sell my shit. That's fucked up. Oh, the poorly, I'd say. Is that oh. so? We're raising a generation of coddled cake flappers. Trying to get caught yet. That's a cool hallway. This must be the prefect's bathroom. comes near me, I'll hand him his hat. Or hell, anyway, I'm not afraid of a goblin with that. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Can I just water? Oh no. Oh, there you go. Well, I suppose I should begin my rounds now. Already in the past. Holy shit, I fucked that up. Yeah. I feel like I take a listen to this shit in a second too, but well, let me get up out of here. Encompasses the whole of the human condition. How's that? Oh, 
sneaking out of here. Holy shit, I just did that. Right, right there. Oh, and this dude downstairs. Is that the way I was supposed to go? Oh, he's right there. Hello, Mr. Moon. I have the moons you asked me to collect. Oh, goodness! You're as fearless as I'd hoped. An excellent start. If we can collect more, excellent start. it may shed some light on who's behind all this. Of course, I first suspected Peeves. He drove the previous caretaker, rancorous cop, to an early retirement with his intolerable buffoonery. But that does not explain the bogger in Oxme, does it? No. I am determined, with your help, to discover the identity of my tormentor. All right. It's definitely intriguing. I'd like to help you solve this mystery. Uh, you, my friend, are a gentle person and a, a scholar. And I have something to offer a in exchange and for your assistance. Now, remember, the moons are only retrievable at night. Thus, I encourage you to use a disillusionment when necessary. All right, cool. No problem. I keep a lookout. I shall keep an eye out. I appreciate that. Got you. You like globes and shit in this game. What the fuck is he saying, bro? Oh, I guess because I'm still in this other thing. Okay, whatever. That's weird, though. It's, I'm done, but I guess it's not over yet. There we go. You're doing it too fast. Downstairs we go. Hey, the man behind the moon. Oh yeah, yeah, hold on. Hey, hey they, they having fun right here. And then I'll be right back, give me a second. Let these motherfuckers uh, play the music real quick.
Hi. <laughs> That's breaking it down. Did I be like fucking this the whole time or what? Yeah, hey, I can lock out, unlock. Hello, I'm more. Fuck it, auto saw, boy. Revelio. Now, dummy guys. Oh yeah, I fucking forgot. Holy shit! Do I have to be? Yeah. Destroy some shit. Hopefully, I can pick this up. There we go. Gotta get to a store or something so I can sell this shit. Matter of fact, that's probably what I should do. Huh? All the stores are too far away, though. Nighttime, no curfew, no roaming at school. Big creepy ass building with all these doors. Whoa. Oh, popping in here. Crazy ghosts is probably running around. But yeah. I don't see him. No? Alright. Guess there's nobody here. Oh. A ghost. Today? Alright. Welcome, everyone. I see you've already met some of the many beasts we study in this class. Though be advised, none of these creatures should be taken lightly. They are all in their own way oh, dangerous, that can fly and shit. especially Big if ass. one does not know how to handle them properly. Now, it seems many of you are out of practice. Let's take some time to review the basics of how to care for a beast, shall we? Miss Sweeting, 
Would you please assist our new student with the lesson today? Yes, Professor Howen. Hello, I'm Poppy, Poppy Sweeting. Don't worry about Professor Howen's speech. She over-exaggerates sometimes. <laughs> All the beasts in class are perfectly safe. Oh! Miss Sweeting, pay attention, please. The tongue of a puffskin can be a slippery devil. Uh, yes, Professor. Here. You can practice on Gerald. Oh boy, Just keep an eye out for his tongue. <laughs> you can use my brush. Just be gentle. Oh, and think pleasant thoughts. I like to think it enriches his experience. Really? Oh, okay, cool. That's lovely. I'm sure he feels much better. I think he might be hungry. Would you mind giving him some beast food? The what? What? What do you suppose the pellets taste like to Gerald? Pudding, mm. I like to think. I think we can safely say that Gerald likes you. That's good news. He seems very nice. He is. The Kindness is, is one on? of his best qualities, right after ambition and cleanliness. Good work, everyone. Now, let's make right. our way to the pens and select another beast. And please, do be careful as you feed and groom them. Miss Sweeting, why don't you show our new student to the measles in the farthest pen? This way, the measles are over here. What? Are they making up names? Oh, couple of knees or whiskers ought to get me a few canuts at least. Enough to buy something from Honey Jukes. <laughs> oh, stupid thing. Oh. Tuss peculiar poppy. Worried about a worthless little rodent. Her name uh. is Persephone. <laughs> Her name is Persephone. <laughs> That's really not funny. That's <sighs> oh, so stupid, but you know, it's the best. Let's go. Life. Those two don't belong anywhere near this class. Poachers in training. Persephone was on to them instantly. Thank you for your help. Let's carry on. Feed and brush the measles just as you did with Gerald. All right. You want me to do it right now? Oh, that's pretty cool. I gotta wait till he's down. You may see one, as do I. That does that one right here. I would like a moment, please. Do I got to feed these motherfuckers too? Oh no. Hello, Professor. You wanted to speak with me? I did. How did you find your first beast's lesson? I don't know about it. It was all right, but honestly, I find the beast's unpredictability unnerving. Wouldn't know it the way you handled them. You'll soon learn that properly controlled beasts can play a vital role in our lives. Some provide us with magically imbued materials, if cared for correctly, which does not include torturing them for whiskers. Well done, by the way. Proper 
probably best to let me handle it next time. Yes, Professor. Yeah, They're yeah. nearly as bad as the Savagers in Rookwood's poacher pack. Sadly, we're the ones who suffer. Stumbling over dead beasts? Terrible waste of resources. Surely the poachers can be brought to justice by someone. The Ministry, perhaps? Hmm. An optimistic idea. Now, why don't we focus on more immediate matters that we can control? Professor Weasley has asked that I prepare some assignments designed to help you catch up to the other fifth years. Be on the lookout for my owl. Meanwhile, I also encourage you to study as many beasts as you can on your I'll own study. time. All right, here we go. Come on. She want me to check out beasts on my own time. Oh, I forgot about this. My bad, that's on me. But anyway, let me see this shit. Okay. Australia, a uh, comparison between Melbourne and New York. Same style. And then we have like more pictures here, more photos. This one is a comparison between the UK and Australia as well. And I'm, I, if you, let's not go into the Australian history because everybody who lives in Australia right now, your history is the same as in the States, approximately 170 years, give or take. Um, New South Wales and Ethiopia. It's across the world. Like I said, Africa holds lots of secrets, unfortunately, because the content is so huge. Vibes of Cosmos. Um, nobody really explains everything it's not in the interest of explaining the royal exhibition um, building victoria and even with the saint peter's basilica in italy you see the same human empire back in the day and uh, these are like in shanghai in china if i show you these photos and i'm asking you the question where are these buildings you're gonna say oh probably some part of europe or north america or australia no they're in china uh, and then these ones are also in china as Ex well china, like uh, so. and this is also shanghai both of them, one of them is older, of course, uh, in the black and white era. Uh, and then the other one is uh, from newer days, Shanghai, China. And this one is in Poland. And you can see the depth of the actual thing, right? Because people see this castle and they just don't take in like all the vegetation. If you take all the vegetation away, imagine the Mate. depth and how profound, um, how deep that castle goes. Who built this? With what technology? With what power? Nobody uh, replies to those questions of where these castles come from. Uh, these are also castles in different parts of the world, especially Germany has as well. Germany is Germany was Germany and Prussia. You know, Prussia with a P. Nobody speaks about that anymore. Again, the depth. Who built this for what purpose? And can you imagine how can you? Because winters in Europe are supposed to be super freaking freezing. A normal human species with human logic. How do you keep a place like this warm? You see the thing with free energy and frequencies and electromagnetic and the ether in the in the enclosed system. Anyway, yeah, it's a different story. Cold, definitely. Windsor Castle, the UK, right? Famous, the royal British family. That door there, you, you see like th those what we call windows and that access point, the entry point is not natural according to the rest of the building. Again, I'm not going to go into details about giants and other humans and where the royal British family comes from and stuff because it's not the purpose of this video. And this one. I'm just gonna like this is like uh, awesome the principal high right. buildings of the world a diagram so you can see all the buildings each one of them has a number and then here i'm just gonna you can just pause the video and make a screenshot so let's make it like this so you see the first four you have like uh the numbers and the altitude the height in feet that's cool uh, uh, meters if you want to change picture. it and then going like this you have the rest so you can pause this if you want to go one by one and see all of them and then Let's make a like for you like this. So you see the numbers. Well, let's go like the half of the page. Like, well, it's a bit difficult. But then if you can see it like this, let's do it like that. If you take a screenshot and then if not, you just like go uh, by the numbers and you search for them. You know, people usually, um, they give you separate fit pictures and photos of each one of them. And they say, oh, this is so awesome and so huge. Who built this with what technology? What happens when you see all of them in the same place? And then you ask yourself the question, well, who built all of them across humanity, across all the continents, across all the years? What kind of human empire? Exactly. You get the point. And um, look at the size of them. Like, for example, let's see number number 36. Is that 36? 
that's 37 and the pyramid is 36 so this one i don't even know if that one has a number or not 37 and i think that should be 43 let's see 36 i'm curious now st peter's <laughs> rome yeah makes sense so st peter's rome um 36 and 43 i guess would be 43 43 right channel church of saint mary lubeck <laughs> and some of these places you don't even you don't even know about them uh, and then what's the pyramid oh the pyramid is 35 because 78 is the the obelisk so 35 the i didn't see the number there 35 so 35 is the great pyramid okay so you have the reference on um, see number 35 here and then 36 will be this big they call them churches 78 is the tallest <laughs> one as i can so see in the middle churches. and 78 would be the last one the washington monument hmm. so yeah again washington monument and you have also like small ones like for example 47 47 is the tomb of Milasa in Caria. but yeah it doesn't make any sense for a humanity primitive with pigs and chickens and wooden tools and bronze tools to build all of these now you see everything in one place a picture is worth more than a thousand words and uh, it makes your mind go reset mode so see you in the next video okay yeah definitely unusual i don't know what this is about to be but i wanted to see what it looked like really quick. Oh, but the record flick that all action necessary for placing house memorial 46 on final passage has been taken and it is now subject to debate amendment or substitution the general lady to explain the memorial Thank you, Mr. Speaker. So today is uh, Santa Fe Scottish Rite Masonic Center Day, and the Santa Fe Scottish Rite Temple built in 1912 as a historic landmark and home of the ancient accepted Scottish Rite of Freemasonry in New Mexico. The building, including its jewel box theater, with its original scenery collection, its artifacts represent a time capsule of Masonic culture and theatrical history. The ancient and accepted it. Scottish Rite of Freemasonry, commonly known as the Scottish Rite is one of the several groups that are part of the worldwide fraternity known as Freemasonry. The Scottish Rite is the largest and most widely practiced Masonic Rite in the world and employs a lodge system. While there is no Masonic degree more important than that of the Master Mason, there is a long tradition, almost as long as Freemasonry, of high degrees that expand upon the elaborate uh, and elaborate the teachings and lessons of the first three degrees. The Scottish Rite degrees teach a series of moral lessons uh, culminating to the 32nd degree. Master All this of the stuff is public and information. The Scottish Rite you can ask chat GPT to tell you about this type of stuff. And with that, Mr. Speaker, I would like to introduce my Pretty guests that are on the floor it. today. First of all, we have Wesley oh, Thornton. Wesley Thornton is a sovereign reign grand inspector general of New Mexico who yeah, is they a show the whole Scottish thing. Rite Masons cool. in New Mexico. He's one of the 33 active members of the Supreme Council, which is the governing it, body for the Scottish Rite Scottish right, in the uh, southern China. jurisdiction of the United States. He is the fifth person from New Mexico to this hold this quick. distinction. He is a practicing certified public account in Albuquerque with over 37 years of experience and also one of my constituents. Thank you for being here. Australia, uh, comparison between. And next to him is the very lovely oh, Robin Thornton. Uh, this is the wife of Wesley Thornton for 47 years. Congratulations. And is very supportive of the Scottish Rite and its programs and its official hostess of the Scottish Rite. It's something Kubrick's co author Diane Johnson lamented in an interview 37 years after the movie came out the cutting of the scene where Jack finds a scrapbook, removed due to a length dispute with Warner Brothers. In King's book, Jack finds a scrapbook in the basement with newspaper clippings detailing the overlooked sordid history. A mysterious someone... This part, this part, hold on. Business this part. we discussed. To do the duty of whatever is... Think you are. Let's see where I left off. Another definition for play is an alternating or reciprocating motion to act on the stage, to personate a character as Jack the caretaker appears to slowly become someone else. 
At least one course from each main type of meat. Dishes of fish, poultry, pork, and beef, each holding their own closed door affair, with meaning only really understood by its exclusive attendees, cloistered together in the spirit of shared ritual and tradition. The Awani's only permanent residents, Don and Mary Tresseter, the power couple instrumental in the development of Yosemite's accommodations, served as the